Hello, friends, and welcome to our uh, Paldea Evolved uh, booster box opening. We got 36 packs to open. This video is sponsored by our friends at Infinity Cards and Collectibles, so be sure to check them out at infinitycards.ca and use code PALDEAQUENCH for up to 10% off your order. Pretty sick. So without further ado, we're going to get into this opening. We also posted an AMA on Twitter, so we will be answering some of those questions as we go through these packs. So, Oh, this one did not have the little break on it. That's concerning. <laughs> Usually they have um, like a little seal, but let's see. Are we going to get first pack magic here? So I always put my trainers to the side. I don't know if you guys are weird like me, but I collect. I usually do my best to save all the trainer cards um, just because I find a lot of people in the community end up needing them. So, oh, we already got Palmot, and there's the code for anyone that cares about it. So um, next pack, you know, let's just do all right side first, and then we're going to do all left side. Uh, I'm very curious how they'll compare in hits. So, um, what do you guys think? Are we going to get more hits on the left? Or are we going to get more hits on the right? I would love to know. Or I'd love to know what you think. Um, because, like, I've never actually checked it. So, right now, we're not... I wouldn't say it's no hits. But, yeah, no hits. Because we're looking for EXs, uh, full arts, illustration rares, um, stuff like that. Those are what we're after, truly. And Hariyama... We already got you, so let's put the energy over there. Code card for those that care. And next pack. Uh, so we're going to go through our first question from Jay Tanuki. If you can rename any Pokemon, uh, who would I choose and what would I rename them as? Um, this is a great question because there's a lot of Pokemon that I think are kind of like misnamed or uh, named kind of weird. So um, generationally, I can think of... I would say Generation 1, I'd rename Snorlax to like Max Lax or Max Nap. <laughs> um, just because they make me laugh. Whoa, we got our first full art trainer, friends. How uh, That's unexpected. I wasn't expecting to get one this early, but our first full art, we got Cigaro. So he's teaching Jigglypuff, who is another Pokemon I'd rename, actually. Um, I feel Jigglypuff is a Pokemon. Um, I call them Herald because they're the Herald of Sleep. So. Um, but <laughs> there we go. We got Wigglytuff too. So there's the code card for those that care. Um, huge hit. I'm excited about that. That was actually one of my chase cards. So I am chasing all the full art trainers because I love trainer cards. Um, that's a fun fact about me. Um, trainer cards are my big chase. I got obsessed with chasing full art trainers thanks to my friend Connor who got me into Pokemon. So my friend Nick and Connor are actually the ones that I have to thank for my, my addiction to cardboard. Whoa, back-to-back -back hits? We got a Gothria, or Gothrita uh, illustration rare. And, oh, a Noivorn EX. So we need this for collection. So that is great. Um, there is our code card. So we got a double hit pack on the right side. So, I mean, that's... Maybe the right side's the place to start. So... Um, Jumping to our next question from Glenn. Is there a Pokemon that holds a sentimental value for me? If so, which one and why? Um, this Pokemon would be Snorlax for me. Um, for a few reasons. One, it was a point of bullying for me as a child. People used to call me Snorlax because they used to be calling me fat. But I eventually embraced it. I, I don't let the bullies lose. So Snorlax has always been with me. I've always felt a close connection to that Pokemon being a big guy. And then finding out that the... Um, the, the, the game designer, they, they made it after one of them to kind of make fun of him for being a large guy himself. I, I really connected with that. So um, that's definitely one that I connect with uh, sentimentally on uh, one value. But then another Pokemon that I really connect with is um, Arcanine because I named my Arcanine in the games after my dog who passed. So I always have that soft spot for Arcanine being a dog. So if a game has Arcanine, it's a 10 out of 10 for me immediately. So oh, we got a reverse Iono. Ooh, reverse superior energy. That's pretty pog. There we go. Code for those that care. I'm trying to make sure we keep our cards in separate piles here. I like to keep my trainers in one place so it's easier to, uh, to, to organize. I like uh, my trainers a certain look, a certain way. Put all the wrappers in one corner there. All right, Lavaratar. All right. I, I know I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm a really big fan of how the... Uh, cardstock feels. It just feels really good. Very strong. Um, very good cardstock they used on this one. So I'm very impressed 
uh, with the quality of the print, quality of the cards. So, um, our next question comes from Travis. Uh, which Pokemon's lore is the biggest indictment of capitalism's failures? Also, if you have a Pokemon RL but no one else could know I had one, which one would I choose? So this is a great question. Um, I think the Pokemon that is the biggest indictment of capitalism's failure based on their lore would actually be the Runus Pokemon. Um, the reason why I say that is like it comes down to the ancient king of Paldea's greed, which made the kingdom collapse. So I really think that's really what speaks to it there. Um, that That's part of it. So I think the Runus Pokemon are definitely um, part of that. But I think Gimagool, <laughs> Gimagool and Gima, oh god, they're a ball form. Uh, I can't even remember what it's called. The guy that looks like the cheese string. Um, they don't have a card for him yet, so I can't even speak to it. So, uh, but they'll evolve from that one as well because it's just a greedy little Pokemon that just cares about gold coins, and that's all they care about. And they eventually become gold themselves. So, uh, I think that uh, speaks to that. And then, if there is any Pokemon that I can have uh, and told, could tell no one about it, which Pokemon would it be and why? Um, it'd be a Gengar. Uh, mostly because I probably just hang out with them all the time, play video games, eat some pizza, and uh, probably have them do pranks. You know, like help them help me bamboozle people, be goofy, be silly. You know, I, I think they'd be down for that. I think they have a blast. So that's what I think. I think a Gengar would be a really cool companion, and telling no one would be hard, especially my tiny wife, because we're big Gengar enthusiasts in our house. Oh, yo! We got a second boss. I pulled one earlier at a pre-release, so getting a second boss right now is insane. So I am beyond thrilled. Wow. Thank you, Infinity Cards, Don CA. Make sure you guys are checking them out. Um, how many cracks we got left on this side here? I think we're halfway. Yeah, we're halfway, so let's bump this back a little bit. I'm using the tin as our holding thing so you guys can actually see the box. So, um, Wow. But yeah, Gengar is my answer for that. So, pretty pretty stoked. I love Gengar. Um, they're actually um, the Pokemon that leads my tattoo. So, uh, they're the first Pokemon on display because they were my first like obsession Pokemon when I was a child. So, I was like obsessed with catching one. And I remember uh, the lies as a child of me believing Pokemon were real. <laughs> so, I thought Gengar would one day be real but you know with the power of ar you know technically they are so um our next question comes from hayden hayden asks which region would i love to live in and why uh i think this is a difficult question because pokemon has so many incredible regions in like so many incredible parts of those regions um i would have to probably go with ancient Sinnoh. And the reason why is I just think the, the the thought of being able to build a city from the ground up within that era and uh, just being part of the culture, uh, I think would be super cool. Um, I know I'd be missing a lot of technology and uh, abilities from <laughs> the current era, but I just really think it would be really cool to check out Ancient Sinnoh and like, you know, be part of the villages and be part of like the growth of uh, what they do there. Oh, this is a great card. I mean, it is and it isn't. So we'll get back to Sinnoh in a sec. We got to talk about this card. So a lot of people are misreading this ability and they think it's great. I think it's garbage. So once during your turn, your first turn specifically, you can discard your hand and draw six more cards. Uh, you can't use more squawk in uh, seize ability during your turn. So this ability people are reading as at any time. So that's that's a, that's a problem. People keep thinking that it can be done any time. So it's like, nope, it's just during your first turn. So if you don't pull that Pokemon, in my opinion, it's kind of effectively useless because it only has a 20 HP attack as well. So it's a real gamble to get that Pokemon. So you're going to have to use like a level ball or um, a battle VIP pass to pull that Pokemon up. And I just don't think it's worth it. So that's just my opinion on it all. Um, let's just keep going down here. But back to Ancient Sinnoh, yeah, that would be the region and era uh, that I would kind of go for. So let's see what here. Mimikyu Reverse. Oh, and Mimikyu Regular. That's cool. I'll take it. There we go. Code cards go over here to safety. All right, we are down to the last four packs on the right side. We've got some pretty significant hits, which we're going to do a hit review uh, once we are done on this side here. So we can kind of take a look, see what we got. 
and talk about those hits. So, uh, are you folks chasing any cards yourself? Is there anything that you're after? Any specific arts? Are you chasing an artist? I would love to know if there's anything like that out there for you. Uh, I'm, more, I'm more, very interested to kind of see what motivates people in the Pokemon community and what gets them excited about Pokemon cards. So, um, definitely let me know in the comments because I, I love to know. So, uh, jumping to our next question here. What is it like living with Susan? <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have a very baby cat. Her name is Susan, and she is very needy. She's a real-life Pokemon. Uh, I love her to death. She is just exceptionally needy in what she needs. So um, very needy little gal. Love her to death. So living with her is great. I can't complain. Oh, we got Orthoworm. They are up to something. Look at that face. Like, what are they up to? They're being devious, in my opinion. All right. We got two packs left. Let's see what we can get in here. Huh. Uh, hoping for second pack last magic or pa last pack magic, you know? Um, that'd be great here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Quaxley. Grusha. Miss Amagius. Bramblegas. I love Bramblegas. What a unique Pokemon. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! Is it double hit? No, it's just Vizula, which that is another good Pokemon to talk about, but not right now. We are looking at the cutest card ever made. I'm going to have to give this to my wife because if I don't give this to her, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get grounded. So this is a special card for my wife. Mousehold it has become one of our favorite Pokemon just because how they live and exist. Their little family dynamic is the cutest thing to me. Uh, I love them. So uh, pretty pumped that we pulled that just now. So let's go here. Huh. Last pack, friends. Let's hope for some magic here. Huh. Uh, da -da. Ba -ba. Pelipper, okay, okay. Pseudo Wudo, Giacomo, and Rabaska. All right, and let's do a quick hit review. So, um, on our left side or right side, we got two normal EXs. So, we got Noivern and Squawk Ability. Pretty solid hits, um, not really playable. On the Full Art Trainers, we got. Uh, Seguero, and another boss, which I am insanely stoked about this because I play boss. So it's a super playable card for me. So I'm really excited about that. And then on the illustration rares, we got Gothrita, followed by our friend Mousehold. So Mousehold is going to hold a very special part in my heart um, as we continue on to our left side. So make sure, you friends, if you are liking this video, commenting, you're sharing, and you're liking. Just because it helps out the channel, helps me grow. And lets people know that people actually like my content. So um, let's continue with these pack openings. Let's talk about the hits you're after. Um, I'd love to know in the comments, uh, have you opened any uh, of this Paldea Evolved yourself? Have you pulled anything really cool? You know, leave multiple comments. You know, answer all the questions as we go. You know, that's what it's all about. I think it'd be fun. So let's see. No, we got Hydrogen. So there is the code for those that care. There we go. Another Paldea Evolve. I really like this set. I think this is a really good collectible set. It mirrors Rebel Clash. So if you've been collecting for a while, you know all about uh, the Sword and Shield cards. I think Rebel Clash was a great set too. And just the way that this set is built with the high number of cards, we're looking at 193 cards. Um, we're, we're seeing a lot of similarities in high card count, uh, a boss's order in, um, in the set. So... Uh, a lot of a lot of similarities and a lot of um, important cards came out in both sets too. So um, I really think that this has really made it uh, super playable uh, and really changing the game meta because there's a lot of energies which we haven't actually seen a reversal energy yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. Which we're probably gonna get right here because I mentioned it. I summoned it. So let's just go. Um, there we go. Man, the card stock here is beautiful. I know I've already said that a few times, but. I gotta really call it out. Spirit Tomb, this is a great Pokemon. Basic V, yours and theirs have no abilities, which can be good and bad, so that's good at blocking. Um, let's see what our next question is. Oh, our next question is from Dandroid. What is the fastest Pokemon, and do we know exactly how fast it can travel? Um, so I didn't research this ahead of time for speed, like how fast it can go, but 
I can tell you the fastest Pokemon. So the fastest Pokemon is Regilecki. Um, they are just the fastest Pokemon out there. They are quite literally lightning fast. So um, if we're comparing them in the TCG, they have a free retreat. So does Mew. Oh, we got a Lycanroc EX. This one looks so cartoony. Like, it just looks goofy. I mean, it's supposed to look cool like a werewolf, but I just think it looks really goofy. So it makes me laugh every time. But that is our first hit on the left side. Hopefully we get more on the left because we're a few packs in, and that's the first one. So, um, But, yeah, back to the question. Regilecki V uh, and VMAX are free retreat. Sorry, Regilecki VMAX is a free retreat. Um, however, Mew is the probably the fastest Pokemon card because it has free retreat both ways. And I can't think of any other card that has a free retreat. So I am going to have to say that uh, it's probably... We got it! Holy sh... Woo! We got it. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought it was a double hit for a second there, but... Whew. We got the chase card. We got it. I have to send this off for grading. I gotta send a picture to the Discord, of course, first, and show our friends. But we got the Iono. This is insane. What an incredible day, friends. What an incredible day. Um, <laughs> on that note, check out uh, our friends at infinitycards.ca. Use code PaldeaQuench, and you too could possibly get yourself your own Iono. Um, I'm just excited about that because the art in the card is fantastic. I just love that they're having all this ama amazing uh, Pokemon food. I think it's just a fun looking card and I love full art trainers. So, I mean, that's a win-win for me. So, very excited about that for myself. Uh, glad to add it to my collection as well. So, like, that is um, just something to be excited about for me. So, I'm, I'm really pumped about that. Like I said, we're going to have to send it off for grading because I love grading my full art trainers. So... Uh, that's going to be one that I grade and hold on to for when I need to, you know, put down uh, uh, money on a house. Because <laughs> someone will pay for it. Uh, there's always a collector for the full art trainer cards. So, all right, let's keep going down here. This is a card people aren't talking about. I'm really surprised about the ability. We're going to stop for a second. So, Big Roar. Once you're in your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may switch it for your opponent's active Pokemon to their bench. So, that's really good. So, if you start with that Pokemon... You can hit switch and we can switch it to a, one of their benches and then, you know, use a switch or an energy to escape out. Um, I think that's a really good strategy for a few things. So um, maybe we'll see it changing morph uh, over the next few weeks, but we'll see. Um, we have a few questions here uh, from MHG Koopa. You can make a deck consisting of your favorite Pokemon and characters from the game. What does the deck look like? Um... I'm going to have a Gengar deck, which is not going to be meta, but it's going to be messy. So we're going to have a Gengar, Gengar VMAX. Uh, it's going to be fast. Ooh, we got a Luminous Reverse. And uh, it's going to be goofy. I'm trying to think of what other Pokemon I really like that I would support with that. Because um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. So it'd be a Gengar V deck. And I guess that would have, like, you know... You know, I guess there would be a boss's orders because I always love the, the, the team captains and the bosses. So, like, um, that's definitely a thing. So, there'd be a boss in there. Professor's Research because Professor Sada. Um, we see, you know, I'm surprised there's not a Master Ball card. But we see Great Balls in there because I, I like the design of the Great Ball. I hate Ultra Balls. And I'm glad there's no Ultra Ball card. Oh, we got another Full Art Trainer. We got a Falconer. Look at that. That's very Pog. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. Let's go. Um, so yeah, my, my deck would not be meta in the slightest. So <laughs> it'd be very messy. Uh, I don't even want to think about how I'd build it because like, yeah, I just don't think it'd be possible to play. So that, that, that'd be really funny. Um, good question. Really like that. Um, our next question comes from Dandroid again. Is Rotom a robot that mimics a Pokemon or is it a Pokemon that mimics a robot? Uh, great question. It's actually a ghost. So it's a ghost that can take on um, the form of whatever it kind of it, it, it like interacts with. So it's kind of a, like not a specter, but like a I guess a poltergeist in a sense. But it can like you know there's specific equipment that it can kind of go into like lawnmowers, washing machines, uh, that kind of stuff. But it can't haunt people or other Pokemon. So that's where I guess there's the what is it factor. So yeah, it's just a, a specter of sorts. 
kind of a, a cool little dude. Um, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Dan. Oh, Reverse Tauros. Let's go. That's a nice card. And the code for those who care. We are getting down to the last few hits here. We got... Oh, I think we're... Yeah, we just passed halfway. So, yeah, we are down to the last seven packs. And we got a few more questions left, which I'm excited because there's some really goofy ones here. Um, our friend George asks, If I can eat any Pokemon and gain its abilities, which Pokemon would I eat and why? Um, I guess I would... Oh, we got a hit. We got a hit. Harold Cross... And there we go. That's for that. And we got our first illustration rare of this side. So hopefully another one. Because we hit our two full art trainers. So we shouldn't see any more full art trainers here. Um, let's see what else we can get. But yeah, I would uh, I need a haunt. I mean a Gengar. So I could become invisible, you shadow ball. Uh, those types of abilities. I just think they are very neat and cool Pokemon. So, Bravery Charm Reverse. Oh, live Wochin reaction. Let's go. We got another V. There we go. There we go. All right. We are down to the last few packs here, friends. If you haven't already, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you guys are commenting on the video. And make sure you're sharing this out. Maybe share it with a few friends. Because we do a lot of giveaways. Uh, we have an upcoming giveaway, actually. Once we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're giving away um, we're giving away a PSA slab. That's right. Uh, I forgot which one I was giving away. So we'll have to ask you to check. Oh, we got Slow King. I haven't seen this one yet. So that is... Great for us. That's exciting. Um, I think after this box, I'm going to have most of the collection done, which is exciting. So uh, I'm pretty pumped about that. Uh, let's see here. We're trying to keep this mess so organized. I will show you, friends, what this mess looks like once we're done, maybe. Um, maybe I'll post that to our YouTube so you all folks can kind of see what it looks like there. Oh, we pulled the reverse too early. Calamitous Waste, and Tyranitar. Okay. Down to our last three packs. So I think I might just do this as a giant... No, I'm not going to do that. Because I'm going to mess it up. I was going to do like a giant super pack. But I'm like, I'm probably going to mess it up. And I don't want to do that. So. I don't think we're going to get any more hits. But I'm going to jinx it by getting a hit here. Watch. That's what I do. I try and jinx it going, oh, we're not going to get a hit. And then we do. So. Venusa. Okay, low kick. Okay, okay. Huh. Down to the last two packs, friends. Huh. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. What's going to be our hit? What do you guys... Oh, I actually spoiled it for myself. I really want to hit the Raichu so bad. Not that it, we just did, but um, I would lose my mind. Oh, this is a good card, actually. So let's check it out for a second. The ability, when this Pokemon knocked out, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent does not take any prize cards. So that is my kind of card. <laughs> it's just kind of toxic. Uh, all right, so this is our last pack, friends. Um, make sure you guys are putting some good energy out there for us as we try and get our final hit. So um, that said, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, commenting and sharing out the channel it only helps us grow and again another shout out to infinitycards.ca uh again use code paldea quench where it supports the channel directly and i could keep doing these great videos for you um let's see giacomo okay parmesian and what's our hit what's our hit <laughs> jump bluff jump bluff was the final hit all right so let's do our quick hit review of this one side here and let's take a look at our cards so we got three EXs so we got Wochin, Slow King, and Lycanroc EX pretty pog we got ourselves Harold Cross look at them just vibing oh I thought that was the ocean they're next to a street how dangerous they're playing in traffic and then we got a Faulkner uh, full art or yeah full art and then we got the chase card that everyone is after. We got Iono, uh, like uber crazy rare. So this is the one I want to kind of talk about. Is look at all the great food here. We got a really cute Eevee thing. We got Pikachu pancakes, um, and I don't know what else is going on. We got Sylveon stuff. 
Uh, I think this is all from the Pokemon cookbook, which is fantastic. So, uh, And we got a Rotom vibing right there. Rotom phone, just vibing filming. So they're clearly doing a live stream. So that's exciting. All right, friends, you know what to do. Hit that bell, ring that notification, and I'll see you in the next one. So until then, friends, goodbye and uh, good collecting.